Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And in today's video, uh, I'm just going to um, use a couple of different methods to show you how to extend the life of your battery, whether uh, you're using uh, an Android phone or whether you're using an iPhone. So we're just gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna show you some very, very simple techniques and actually some really cool apps uh, that will help you do this if you do find yourself um, if you do find that your battery uh, generally, you know, dies rather quickly. So, and before I get into it, in that regard, obviously it's much easier to just replace a battery for your Android. Uh, for instance, this battery that I have in this phone uh, was rather weak, and I was actually able to order uh, a newer battery that had uh, a lot more storage capacity. So just in general, now this battery lasts um, about two hours longer than the previous one. But if we're not doing that, uh, let's just go right into it here. So if you find your your layout might look, look a little bit different, but if you find your settings options, uh, go to, uh, it's typically, typically under general, doesn't matter what kind of phone you're using. And you can find something under phone management and then look for anything that says battery um, and mine just says battery and power saving. So for me, I always have it set at uh, 15% is when the battery saver goes on automatically. Uh, I could put it uh, to 5%, I could put it immediately, but I'm just leaving it, so that immediately would be all the time. So I'm just leaving it at 15%, it's on. And then once the battery does reach 15%, it's going to hinder the process of a lot of background, um, a lot of apps that you don't even know that are running in the background. So, um, and therefore getting a little bit more life out of the battery. And that's just something that actually just came with the phone and should come with, uh, with most Android devices in general, regardless as if it is a phone or a tablet. Now, the other thing, we're staying with Android for the time being. And this is a fantastic app, uh, the Kaspersky Battery Life Saver and Booster. Now, I typically, I don't, uh, I would never recommend Kaspersky for like any antivirus, uh, for their antivirus software or anything like that. But as far as their Battery Life uh, Saver and Booster app for the Android, uh, it's, def it's fantastic. So anything uh, at any given time that is using an excess amount of memory in the background, you know, whether it's an app, whether it's a service uh, on the Android device, the phone or, you know, or, or a tablet, uh, this app will, uh, will take care of it. And typically it will let you know, hey, this app is using an excess amount of, uh, of your battery, you know, it's, it's doing way too much work, you know, do you want to shut it down? You can add certain apps to uh, exclusions and so forth. And it has the, uh, the discharge effect too, where when once you're 100% uh, fully charged, uh, you don't want to keep charging your battery. And most Androids have this built in where they'll kind of stop charging it so you don't overcharge the battery. But this app does have it built in. The rating is fantastic, a 4.8 out of 5 with 50,000 uh, reviews. So definitely something to look into for your Android device. Now, moving into Apple, and I was just playing around here, and I obviously do not really use... I don't use the iPhone, but there's two things that I found, and I'll, I'll link everything in the, in the description here. So the one thing that they recommend is going to settings, uh, general, and then the background app refresh, and you set that switch to off. And then there are also, uh, there was an app called Coconut something. Here it is, Coconut Battery that I found on Tom's Guide. Coconut Battery um, OS X, and this is supposed to work for um, your, you can actually use this for your iPhone, for your iPad, and uh, 
even for um, you know even for your MacBook. So any any Apple device that has uh, a battery in it, you can use this coconut battery uh, application for it. So I will leave descriptions for everything in here for you guys. But I didn't want to leave out the iPhone users since I'm always using Android. So I at least wanted to give you guys an option as well. And that is really all I have. I wanted to make this as simple as possible. Uh, the other thing you can always do uh, going back to Android is going to um, your apps and seeing what you, um, and that's always typically in general, just look for your, look for the app section and where the hell is it? Yeah, look for your app section. I'm not even gonna click on it, but see what, go into there and see what you need and what you don't need. So if you don't need something, clear the data, uninstall it, um, and then make sure, so that app is completely removed from your phone. And do the same thing uh, with the iPhone. Obviously it's a different way. I think you like, you hold, you press and hold the screen and then you're able to uninstall it uh, just from that, uh, general, whatever you would call it, the desktop screen on the iPhone, you can remove it. So if there are apps that you are definitely not using, go through that and make sure that, uh, that that's, um, something that you want to do if you definitely do not need that application. So, and if you are using a lot of your battery, I would for, at least for the Android, cause obviously it's so much easier to replace um, to just swap out a battery for an Android, you know, that's a fantastic thing. Also having, um, some kind of portable power bank on you, um, you know, all the time. If you if you find yourself, uh, running, running low on battery a lot. So and that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one later.